Ceramic artist Cliff Lee loves to work with his hands. As a young doctor, he used them to perform delicate brain surgery. Then, a patient introduced him to ceramics. Soon as I touch clay, the time just goes by so fast. Now, it's so like in meditation. So after that, I start making parts in my basement every day after work. For the past 30 years, his hands have been shaping objects in clay. While he sees parallels between being a surgeon and a ceramic artist, he says there are differences. Well, the clay doesn't talk to me, and there's no liabilities. In case I make mistake, I can redo it over and over again. I just feel this total freedom. Li was raised in Taiwan, where he was surrounded by Chinese ceramics, both at home and during frequent visits to museums. Subconsciously, unconsciously, I was educated visually. Over the last three decades, Li has used his heritage and his technical skills to create flawless porcelain objects. He also draws inspiration from his surroundings. I live in a very beautiful section of uh, Pennsylvania, and then the nature inspire me a lot. Every day I'm searching the inspirations, the water, the lotus, my koi ponds, just I consider myself very, very lucky. For years, Lee marketed his work mostly in craft shows, traveling around the country to display and sell them. When a piece was included in the White House collection of contemporary craft, that was a big break. Now, he is one of four artists whose work was chosen for a show at the Renwick Gallery of the Smithsonian American Art Museum in Washington. Nicholas Bell is the museum's curator. Every two years, the Renwick Gallery mounts what's called the Renwick Craft Invitational. It's where we look at uh, trends that are emerging in American craft and look for some of the artists that we think are the best to illustrate them and people that are deserving of broader national attention. This is some of the most exquisitely made work I've ever seen in clay. Lee spent years investigating how Chinese glazes were made centuries ago and then set out to recreate them using his knowledge of chemistry. Probably his best-known glaze is the imperial yellow glaze, which was originally discovered in the 15th century and was so rare and hard to create, uh, and the yellow was such a pure color that it was reserved for use by the imperial court and the Ming dynasty. Cliff spent 17 years recreating that glaze from scratch, failure after failure after failure, until one day he opened the kiln door and it came out perfectly. Forty pieces of his work are on display at the museum, including his signature yellow imperial pottery. Lee says being at the Renwick is the highlight of his career. Thirty years ago, I came to the Renwick Gallery. I said, I'd like to have my exhibit here someday. And over the years, I just work, work, work. And uh, I'm very, very fortunate being selected by the panels. And obviously grateful. If you set your mind to, you can do anything you want. And the sky is the limit. I learned all this in the United States. I got all my resources in the United States. I owe so much to this country. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.